So, today we have a, what I think might be, I haven't seen it yet, I think it might be an excellent Batman Beyond fan film. It's made by the same people that made the live action Naruto, so let's see. Terry, Terry, wake up. The baby's destroying the city. You have to stop it. God damn it, Terry, get up. Yo, that Bruce voice is good. That Bruce Wayne, oh man, Bruce Wayne voice is dope. What did you do? Oh, good. The beam's headed here. Now I have to start all over again. That Mark Hamill Joker voice is good. Thanks for wrecking everything, kid. Hold it. Wise up, Junior. Game's over. <laughs> I'm taking you in. <laughs> yeah, this was that all abusive joke. <laughs> this joker was a mud. You're at the physical you confrontation. Me. He ain't kept. I knew every trick the old Batman and Robin had at their peak. God, he sounds so much you know like Mark Hamill. You. <laughs> What's there to know about you? You're nothing but a punk. A rank amateur. A costumed errand boy taking orders from a senile old man. But still, if it's a whooping you're a wanton. <laughs> Oh, that's right. Run! <laughs> it's about your speed. Okay, is this the Joker? Or is this, uh, Tim Drake? Let's dance, bozo. We became the Joker in the, uh, yeah. Joker movie. In the Batman Beyond movie. Hey, Ronald McDonald. Party's just started. Damn. You heard the blood. Is that, all you <laughs> that old wet sound effect. <laughs> Tough. Any suggestions, boss? Joker's vain and likes to talk. He'll try to distract you. Don't listen. Lock it out and power through. Wait. But I like to talk too. Get Ariel, Terry! Get Ariel! You can't go Ariel like No! What are you doing? Fighting dirty? <laughs> the real Batman would never <laughs> Told you to know me. Funny guy. Can't say the same about you. Come, <laughs> 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 Brett. Who do you think you're talking to? Not to a comedian, I'll tell you that. Shut your mouth! There we go! There we go! The famous boots! The real Batman never talked too much, did he? That's why you're so fixated on him. Don't play psychoanalyst with me, boy. Oh, I don't need a degree to figure you out. Mm -hmm. I was hoping you would just get the whole place dark and go on with his you never got old school laugh Batman that. shit. You start fighting him in the shadows. Not listening. Get a clue, clown. He's got no sense of humor. He wouldn't know a good joke if I bit him in the cape. That the German had a good joke. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. I mean, joy buzzers? Squirting flowers? Wayne, where's the amateur? Make a face. Drop your pants. Something. Show yourself. 
<laughs> you make me laugh, but only because I think you're kind of pathetic. <laughs> Stop that! <laughs> so you fell into a tank of acid, bleached your skin, and decided to become a super villain. What, you couldn't get work as a real clown? <laughs> He's attacking him! Psychologically! Don't you That's dare no. laugh at me! That's no. Why? I thought the Joker always wanted to make Batman laugh! <laughs> You're not Batman. The C4? Guinness? Oh, who's a little punk? <laughs> I said laugh! I can't hear you. <laughs> laugh. <laughs> That's the old school jungle laugh. Damn! You put a whole city block in some. He definitely just killed him. <laughs> he definitely just killed him. <laughs> oh shit, what? That was a hologram? I've been thinking about something you once told me. And you were wrong. It's not the suit that makes you worthwhile. It's the other way around. It's the man that makes the suit. You're right. I am Batman. Sometimes, oh, oh, damn, I get caught up into watching fan films, right? That when you watch a fan film, in my eyes, a fan film is like, you know, 18 plus minutes. You really get a lot of time with each individual character. Whereas to a fan short, to me, is like, 12 or so minutes, you know, a little bit below that because you don't get as much time with these characters. They're not really trying to build a world or really build anything. It's just telling you a quick story and giving you a look at something from a different perspective. Reply Anime is the company that made this. They're the same people that made that really well done live action Naruto Shippuden with Kakashi versus Obito for all my Naruto fans. And that was a fantastic, fantastic thick fan film. I don't know why I said that or why I did that, but I, 
I did it. That was really good. And this was made kind of like in that same realm, but with a Batman spin on it. First off, let me say that it's a damn shame. It's a damn shame, Warner Brothers. Y'all should be ashamed of y'all fucking selves. I don't know why we haven't gotten Terry McGinnis in live action yet. A Batman Beyond movie would do numbers. Numbers. A Batman Beyond film would do at least $700 million at the box office. At least. I don't know why we haven't gotten a Batman Beyond film yet with Michael Keaton as old Bruce Wayne. I'm rambling. I'm off on my tangent and shit, but it's ridiculous that we haven't gotten that. Now, back to this. I think that the one thing they did that really stood out to me was that they really wanted to give Joker his own separate identity in this short film away from what we've seen in other live action adaptations. Other live action adaptations, we've seen the Joker like Heath Ledger that might have a military background, maybe. We've seen the Honka Honka meth version with Jared Leto. And then we've seen the, you can kind of get where he's coming from if you've been in his position, Joker, right? That was absolutely fantastic. And I think that this one is more in the realm of a street fighting Joker, right? That old wacky Joker from the animated cartoons. And it was so nice to see that version in live action. Somebody just wanted to Box one on one. He was giving it to Terry a little bit. <laughs> there were a few times where he squatted up, like, come on, boy. I'm like, shit. I really don't want to fight this dude because he's crazy and he's confident. You you don't want to fight nobody who's like that. Trust me, you don't. I loved the costume. We didn't get that many extended shots of the costume because I think they're probably trying to hide certain aspects of it, <laughs> which is fine. I understand people have a limited budget. I did like how at least the upper half of it looked. The symbol was the perfect shade of red. He had the same belt buckle and utility belt that he had in the animated cartoon. Also, his mask was a combination of the Batman mask and the Iron Man mask. Because we know that Terry's Batman Beyond mask is different from Bruce's. Bruce's is just, is just a normal cow, right? But Terry's has more technology built into it. It's almost as if like Terry's is the sonar Batman cow from the Dark Knight movie, right? Kind of like that. And you saw the lights flickering in this short film from time to time. That was really cool. The voice acting was so good. The person that did the voice for Bruce Wayne killed it. Terry, Terry, wake up. The baby's destroying the city. You have to stop it. It didn't say, whoever it was. They didn't stop at one. Killed it. Killed it. I felt like I was watching the animated cartoon the minute the Joker popped up and was talking. I'm like, damn, he sounds so much like Mark Hamill. Oh, good. The beam's headed here. Now I have to start all over again. Thanks for wrecking everything, kid. Dandy dandy radar disruptor. It's guaranteed to scramble all radar signals in the greater Gotham area. 
That's right, friends. Thanks to this smashing new invention. Another good addition in the fan creativity department when it comes to what fans are able to put together for other fans. I do wish we would have gotten more gadgetry from Terry in this because one of the biggest things I've always loved about Batman is the different technology and the different ways he can get situations done via that technology. I wish we would have got more than just one Batarang, right? And that and what he did at the end with the electricity. If we would have gotten more technology, it would have been an amazing short film. But obviously that requires more of a budget if you want to show the smoke bombs and all that kind of shit. But it was a good fan film. I got a lot of stuff to do, baby. So, it's been weird. But it's been real. Alright? Remember, we all not funny and shit. I don't know why I said that, but I think that was the quote in here, wasn't it? Something like that? I don't know. He said something like that to him, didn't he? But, uh, get out of here, bitch. Oh,